Hello everyone, I'm Tracy and today I'm going to be discussing the recent resignation of Kaleo Manuel, the Commissioner of Water Management and he was uh, in this position during the fire and uh, I'll play the news clipping of, of his announce resignation announcement. Nearly two months after the top deputy of the state's Commission on Water Resource Management was reinstated, Kaleo Manuel will step down from his post. Now, Manuel had been temporarily reassigned from his position after the August Lahaina wildfires following accusations that he delayed access to water. The decision sparked public criticism from many Native Hawaiians and even a lawsuit requesting Manuel return to his previous job, which he did in October. A recent statement from the state's Senator and the chair of the Water and Land Senate Committee, Lorraine Inouye, reads in part, quote, Kaleo Manuel has had an outstanding track record as the CWRM first deputy, and he will be truly missed. He was always fair and balanced in his approach to making water conservation decisions. As the CWRM first deputy, he always kept the aina and the water rights of the people of Hawaii front of mind when doing his job. His departure is a loss for the state as he leaves behind an outstanding track record that reflects his unwavering commitment to the people of Hawaii. Now, Manuel's departure takes effect January 5th, 2024. He's been blamed for the lack of water in the hydrants and um, blamed for why there was no water to put out the fire, basically. So shortly after the fire, a video was released of him speaking about water conservation. I'll play some of it for you guys right here. Well, per, per our authorizing statute to protect and manage all water resources in the state, one water is like taking it and looking at it from a holistic system perspective. And that's not Dif any different than how Hawaiians traditionally manage water. You know, in, in essence, we treated it, uh, Native Hawaiians treated water as one of the earthly manifestations of a god and a kua, kane. And so that reverence um, for a resource and that reciprocity in relationship was, was something that was really, really important to our worldview and, and well-being, right? And living in an island and isolated from other, you know, civilizations. Um, and so I think where it shifted to today or over time is that we've become used to looking at water as like something which we use and not necessarily something w that we revere as that thing that gives us life, right? I mean, to me, it's a shift in value set. So this made him look really bad. And I want to point out this video was recorded of him months before the fire, before any of this was known, really well known about the water problems. So this just to me is a smear campaign, blaming him for it to make people think that he was the reason there was no water. I strongly believe there is another reason why there was no water. But um, I did a video uh, two months ago when he was reinstated into his current position. Now his current position, I'll get it right, he is in charge of the Commission on Water Resource Management. So that is his position. He's the, the top guy of this department. Now, um, he was, according to official reports, he was reassigned shortly after the fire. Uh, to me, I think he was just put on leave and then he was reinstated two months ago. Now, in order to reinstate him, it was a pretty uh, big process. They had to vote. So there was a vote in the Maui County Council and he won seven to two. That was led by the council member, um, it's Keani Rollins Fernandez. I, I brought her up before. Uh, she was an advocate for him and got him back into his position. So that makes it very odd that he is resigning so soon. You know, two months is not that long. Um, why do I think he's resigning now? I think, I mean, I don't think he's very happy with the way he was treated after the fire, how he was blamed for this, you know, how his image was tarnished. And I don't think when he came back to his position, things were that great he was possibly unhappy with the direction that the agency was going in and i sensed some anger i sensed this as a kind of like gfy 
situation and um, you know he's a young man so I think he's going to take this opportunity to start over you know do a career change at least go into a different department of government something like that to kind of start over and I mean that's what I would do I just feel like this situation has ruined the reputation and careers of so many people. He is the third person involved with this to resign. The first was Herman and Daya, the one in charge of emergency management. And then the second was Nani Maderos, the one in charge of the rebuilding of Lahaina. She was the housing director. So there are a decent amount of people resigning. I think that's a sign that there are some possibly unsavory things going on behind the scenes so in in a sense it, it could be a good thing because he might down the line come forward and give us more information more insight about what was actually happening that day so that's kind of how i see it um i'm not sure if he will and if he will if he does come out and you know speak on this topic it might not be for a while but um, that's the main thing I wanted to talk about today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And if you have subscribed, if you can check to see if you're still subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. YouTube has taken this past week uh, so many of my subscribers and it's just, you know, really a shame that that's happening because I'm hearing that a lot of these unsubscribers have not done that like it's been done behind their backs so if you can check on that that would be great and i have one more video planned before the end of the year so be looking out for that but for now that is it thank you guys for watching and i will see you all soon bye